What is up, my fellow Bulldogs? I have a question, or actually a comment, on a video I did about women. And I got this comment from Age of Boggio, or whatever it is, and he says, but keep in mind, when you are on your purpose and make money and have high status, the women will not be in your life for who you are, but for your money and status, smiley face. You will notice instantly, as any of those quote, personality traits decrease, that, who's, that who women's interests will plummet in you. I think that those women's interests will plummet in you, okay? If you want to live together or marry a woman, make sure you earn at least double money during the average duration of a relationship as you will lose at least half of it with 95% chance at the end. Best kept secret, offshore accounts, you are the only one to have access and knowledge about. A uh, Rolls Royce or a yacht is nothing compared to the cost of marriage. So there's some valid points here. Again, this is a jaded viewpoint. I don't like jaded viewpoints. I like re reality. I am an embracer of reality, acceptor of reality. We all should be. There's some truth here, for sure. And there's some precaution here. You wouldn't be living the kind of life that you'd want to live if you really have that level of distrust. Like, just don't do it. Just don't get married if you're going to if you're gonna do that. But so... But you know, you can end up in situations, so so it's fair enough. But what I really want to talk about here is not that second part of it, but the first part of it where he says, but keep in mind when you're on your purpose and make money and have high status, the woman will not be in your life for who you are, but for your money and status. This is kind of an interesting thing. I think this is one of those things, right, you guys, why I tell you when you guys email me, when you're like, oh, okay, here's my plan, John. I'm gonna work really hard. I'm gonna get to the gym. I'm gonna get some six pack abs, okay? And I'm gonna lift weights, get in shape. I'm gonna make a shit ton of money and then I'm gonna get the women, right? I don't need to go and face my fears and, and get courage and go and talk to them and develop any kind of social skills. I'm, I'm gonna do it this way. This is what I'm gonna do. And the problem with that is exactly what was highlighted here, which is that if, if you do that and you are successful, which you're not gonna have as much success as you think. If, if you think that having the perfect physique is going to get you women, you're, you're kind of mistaken. It, it's not really, just gonna happen like that. It of course helps, but confidence is, is much more important. And if you think money is going to get you women, again, it, it may, and it definitely helps and definitely enhances, but it in itself alone is, is not enough. Trust me, I've coached enough people that have money that don't have women, okay? Now you can buy prostitutes and you can you know buy various women of, of, of certain sorts, but as far as actually attracting women not going to happen not not just those things right it, it requires confidence it requires more of the status side he did talk about the status side and this is one of the things that i've always told you guys is is most important is is status women are definitely attracted to status if you go about acquiring status by acquiring money okay by not actually building yourself up and becoming the person who commands high status because of who they are, right? Well, what I would call social status, right? If, if you go and you create status from a position of power or money or from even from physique, if you think that that's possible, sure, maybe, maybe it is, or, you know, perhaps fame, then that status is going to be one that uh, is losable, okay, for, first of all, and it's going to probably attract women for the wrong reasons and they won't be attracted to you. It's really hard to define, right? I think it's really hard to define what is you. If you are going to be content in, you know, in, in, in attracting, uh, and it just doesn't just apply to men, right? This would apply to women as well as attracting a man, is you need to feel that what what is causing this attraction is something that you have earned or that you've built or that is part of your character right i've had this argument with with various friends of mine and and, and different people about you know w what about that car that you have and that's you know this is a chick magnet this this car well you know you know on, on one side of of the coin it's like well you know this is not you definitely don't want to get chicks just because you have this car right that they're they're obviously not liking you not attracted to you but on the other hand you know there's an argument that says well you made the money you built the car you worked hard you're you're you know whatever that that you deserve that car and so that's that's how you know that that is part of you i tend to lean on the side of of saying that look uh, you know i, I want i want to develop the skills the abilities 
the, the kind of confidence that comes with me wherever I go that can't be taken from me, right? So, so the way that I look at things is as far as, you know, relationships is that the more secure ones, okay, the, the ones where you're going to be less likely to need the offshore bank account, the ones where you are not going to doubt yourself are going to be the ones where what is the primary attraction attribute is something that is you intrinsically and cannot be taken away from you. Now, when I say intrinsically, I, I suppose that's probably the wrong word, but what I mean, it, it has become you. Money, you could lose money, okay? So you could lose your status from that. Celebrity, you could lose that as well, okay? You could lose your physique to, to some degree, right? Uh, to, to some degree, your physique is something that talks about how hard you work and, and the kind of bulldog fucking mindset that you have and determination and, and not, but there's a lot of things that could happen. You become injured, like there's things that are outside of your control that could cause you to lose that. What are you not going to lose? Your personality, obviously, but more than that, right? The character that you have, this, the status that you've built, the social status, and your ability to be confident in yourself. Confidence comes from experience. Confidence comes from knowing the outcome or the possible outcomes of things and, 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 and being confident in them right? That's, that's where confidence comes from. You have to have experience. You have to have gone out there and thrown yourself into the fire. So if you build yourself as a human being, right? As you build yourself as a man, all right? Like I, like I teach you on this channel, if you build those masculine attributes and traits, okay? Through not faking it, but actually becoming it, right? Going and fucking disciplining yourself physically, mentally disciplining yourself and having productivity and, and building up that mental fortitude and endurance and mental toughness in order to succeed in business, having that indomitable spirit, having that rejection proof attitude that says that, you know what? I am so confident in myself. I am so happy with myself. I am so fulfilled with, with just myself. I don't need, I don't need external people. I don't need external approval in order for me to be happy. I'm good with who I am. Having all of that and having built that is, is something that no one can take away from you. It's not like wealth. It's not like cars. It's not like any of those things. And so that's the thing. That's why I encourage you on this channel. That's why, you know, I create this channel. That's why I create this content is because I want you to become that man. Okay. Yes. You know, having a nice haircut and some money and looking good in the, in the gym and, and all these things are great. And even having like the right words to say and the right approach and that, that's all good. Okay. And you need some of that. Okay. That's, that's good. That's all good stuff. But underlying it, that core, the thing that you're going to build any kind of relationship or any kind of real attraction on needs to be that you are that man, that you are that rock, that you are that masculine presence. Okay. That is firm. That, that brings all of that certainty with them. Okay, because you're certain, because you've developed it, because you've 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 worked on yourself and you develop yourself over time, because that's that's really the the true leader, the, the true attribute that is going to not just make women attracted to you, but anyone is going to be attracted to you. And truly, when you feel that attraction, you'll know that the that it is you. It's not your money, it's not your cars, it's not your six-pack abs, it's you. It, it's the person that you have become. And no one can take that away. I, I wanted to highlight this comment because I wanted you guys to realize, like, I, you know, I've talked about this a lot of times, but I wanted to really drill down here and, and, and help you to realize that if you acquire women, friends, celebrity, status, all these things based on what you have that can be taken away from you or based on false pretenses or, or based on, you know, whatever it is that's external to you, not only can you lose it, right? And, and losing it is not even, even the fear here, okay? It's that you won't ever have it because when you have those things that you don't deserve based on attributes that do not belong to you and that are losable, you know that they are superficial friends. You know that these are superficial relationships. You know that the attraction will die when the quote personality traits, as he, as he said, uh, disappear when the money's gone, when, when you're not the, the sexy supermodel uh, with six pack abs anymore. When, you know, if any number of things happen, okay, you, you know that it'll be gone, uh, then you don't have true confidence in yourself. You, you don't feel, you don't get the benefit of it, right? You know, if, if, you, do, if you have to do it the right way, 
You have to build yourself up. You know, there, there's a really good quote, I'll, I'll leave it on this. I don't want anything I haven't earned. And, and I've said this before on this channel, I know you guys, I've probably done a video on it as well, but that is the key, right? I don't want it. If I haven't earned it, I don't want it. And if, and, and you know, a lot of you disagree with that, but this, you won't enjoy it if you haven't earned it. You won't feel adequate. You won't feel the benefit of it, right? You could be surrounded by beautiful women, have all your fantasies and dreams and money and all of this. And if you don't feel that you've earned it, it's gonna be emptiness. It's gonna make it harder for you to find that fulfillment because, because it will distract you. All right, that's all I have for you today, my Bulldogs. If you have not subscribed already, if you wanna become a fucking Bulldog and develop the Bulldog mindset, click that subscribe button down below, click the bell so you don't miss any videos. I'll talk to you next time, take care.